Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're in the Durham page 76, where we find a very short but fascinating story that it says that there was a rabbi by the name of Chia, the son of Rav, Chia Barav, that he was shooting arrows. Now this is a great rabbi, and yet we see that he was shooting arrows, and someone came up to him because he was a great scholar, and he was able to, while he was in the process of doing this, he said, how can I help you? And he said, well, I made a vow, and I know you're a scholar. Are you able to remove this vow? So he said, do you have any regrets? Is there a reason why you don't want this vow? So this person said, yes, I feel bad about such and such. So then the rabbi immediately said, it's not a problem. You no longer have this vow. It's been considered to be removed. And this teaches that this rabbi didn't have to spend and exert a tremendous amount of energy to be able to find an opening as to why this vow perhaps or this statement wasn't acceptable to him. But just the fact that he said, I regret is enough. But we see from here, in addition to that concept, is that these rabbis, first of all, were not just sitting in a study hall and they were just immersed in Talmudic study. Of course they were, but they also lived normal lives. We think nowadays of these great pious people, you would not think that they were walking around with a bow and arrow shooting it all over the place. And I would imagine it doesn't mean that this was for target practice. He wasn't taking archery as some leisurely activity. He was probably doing it because he was hunting for food for his family. And we see again the unbelievable lifestyles that the sages went through and the things that they did, which we just take for granted. And they had to go out of their way to be able to go hunting with a bow and arrow. And again, in addition to that, we see another important concept, not just the idea of how fortunate we are and the challenges that they had, but we have so much free time because of the luxuries of the world that we live in. This person had to go around with a bow and arrow, and yet he was considered to be one of the great sages found in the literature of the Talmud. And we have so much free time. We don't have to go around hunting for our own food. So what is our excuse for not achieving greatness, for not becoming somewhat near the level of knowledge that these scholars, these brilliant people had? And unfortunately, it's because when we have free time, are we filling up that time with things that are beneficial, that are really constructive and are part of our growth or are we just wasting time so on this we should derive inspiration not to be put down but to be elevated to realize that time is so valuable that even someone like Chiba Rav, who was busy doing so many mundane activities was still able to find the time to be able to grow so ourselves, who have so much time ourselves, we have that ability to be able to accomplish so much. So use that time and use it wisely.